Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. So this time Talent Battle has come up uh, with a new aspirant. Uh, his name is Ishan Batra. Uh, he has been recently placed to Polestar with a package of 6 LPA. Good evening Ishan, how are you? Good evening sir, I am fine sir. Uh, Ishan, first of all, congratulations from the team of Talent Battle on getting placed and starting your career with the Polestar. So, can you just uh, tell me like uh, what is your post and what is your like designation and your uh, your stream, your background uh, slightly uh, if you can give a slighter introduction. So, please yes. give us. So, I am Ishan Batra from Maharaja Agarian Institute of Technology, finally a B.Tech Computer Science. I am placed at Polestar on the uh, place of data analyst. Okay. At a city of 6 LPA. Great, great, great. So it is a very good start, Ishan. Like you have stepped into uh, an IT company and MNC because recession is just over. So it is still now, it is there. Okay, so it is a very good. Like being in your last year, you have been placed into a very good company. So, okay, Shan, so today's uh, experience video uh, will be based on, you would be uh, guiding our audience, those who are still uh, in process or those who are still preparing for the companies. So, uh, your insights could help them, right? So, we will be asking you a few questions based on your hiring process. Uh, kindly brief, on, uh, brief us on those questions and that could help our audience and yes. your fellow mates, right? So, are you ready, Shan? Yes, sir. Okay. So as you introduced uh, yourself, like you are still in your last year of graduation. So can you just tell me like, was it an off-campus drive or on-campus drive? It was on-campus drive. Okay. And the drive process was carried like uh, through online computer-based tests or it was through offline pen and paper tests? Online tests. The first round was uh, aptitude round and there were total of four rounds. Okay. So there were four uh, rounds. Uh, great. So let us uh, start with uh, like, I'll be asking you questions based on uh, the rounds, right? So yes, uh, without uh, further ado, let's start with the first round. So talking about the first round, as you mentioned, it was the aptitude round. Uh, can you just tell me the duration of the round at first? The duration was of 60 minutes, uh, 60 questions. It was of aptitude. Uh, viable ability, numerical and logical ability. Okay. Uh, the yes, sir. Ha, ha, please keep on. So numerical ability, uh, uh, active passive, viable ability, active passive wise on numerical ability it was profit and loss, etc. Okay. So there were uh, sixty questions in total, like one minute yes. for one question. Yes. Okay, and there were four uh, subsections uh, that were English ability, uh, your abstract, right, and your logical. Okay, were there any uh, like uh, computer science fundamental questions based on OOPS, DBMS? Yes, sir. Okay. So basically, as it is the post of data analyst, so the mm. major focus was on DBMS. Okay. The most chunk of questions were on DBMS and the rest were on OOPS. Uh, basic C++ and Java questions also were right there. Okay. Can you just uh, guide on some topics which from your side were mostly asked or uh, were the topics that uh, were most uh, like important for this drive? The first round. So for, so for first round, the aptitude was very important like the percentage questions, profit and loss questions. And on the technical part, uh, DBMS was very important. Okay. Any specific topics in DBMS that you remember were asked during the drive? Joints. In joint. a joint lab, joints. Okay. And normalization was also there. Okay, okay, okay. And how would you uh, level this first round? Like it was a moderate level, a difficult level, or a easy level test? It was a moderate level. Okay, okay. The questions were uh, like strictly from the basics or uh, they were like uh, molded? Uh, some are from basic. Uh, most of them were a little molded. Not too far, uh, too difficult, but it was a little difficult. Okay. Okay. And was it a elimination round or like it was a general test? 
it was elimination you know okay so how many questions you think like uh, you solved correctly i think i have solved out of 60 i have solved more than 40 45 around 40 45 question okay okay uh, this is okay. a good ratio yes okay and talking about aptitude uh, the earlier sections like english ability verbal ability the logical and quants so how was its level like the question level for that it was moderate to difficult okay yes uh, like how would you say that uh, like uh, was the question like uh, it was not time bound like you were not able to solve the questions within that particular time or like it was uh, not easy to crack okay. actually it involves a lot of calculations and it is not directly be, uh, formula based but there was always a twist in every question okay 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 so uh, any ratio any number of students you remember any rough idea so like uh, these much students participated in the test set for the drive and out of that uh, these students were selected around 500 students uh, give the test and around 130 to 140 were selected for the round one okay okay uh, after round one okay still it was a good number right yes okay so when was your uh, second round scheduled on the same day or after some few days gap after after few days okay so let's start with the second round uh, what was this round and how it went it was basically technical round where they asked about my technical skills about my projects how what difficulties i had faced in at, on that particular projects and also there were two things like uh, there were dsa questions also like second largest element pushing zeros to the right uh and also there was one question based on recursion and loop like comparison of them on basis of time complexity and space complexity okay 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 uh okay so can you just uh, re- just repeat uh, the first topic which you said from dsa when you were mentioning the topics uh it was second largest element so okay. we have so we have to so it was a dsa problem like we have to tell about the approach okay it was like hands on coding questions or uh, like w- how it was like pseudo code or uh, something it like just pseudo code pseudo code and approach we have to tell to interview about the pseudo code and approach okay okay it was like a interview uh, the interviewer was there yes okay so he was putting you the questions you were uh, uh, like you you presented your screen to him right yes okay got it so any any important thing which was there in your resume which they liked the most and from which they picked the most of the questions from your resume part so uh, i have learned about react js and made some projects on react js so okay. they ask a lot of question about javascript and react js debouncing concepts okay a uh, hooks concepts etc okay uh, can you just brief on your projects as well so that uh, the audience can get a slight insight of that as well so i have made a movie search application based on react js html and css okay it is a basically a searching application where you write a name and the movies related to it showed below using a api the okay. data is fetched and we show using front end technologies react js okay yes uh, okay just one project or uh, there were an other another projects as well uh, so the other other one was a data data related projects car price prediction model using linear linear regression um, machine learning algorithm okay great great so both of uh, for the major projects right yes okay and they were team projects might be or uh, they were like your individual projects and the movie search application was a, a single project while the other one car price prediction model was a team project 
Okay, okay, nice. Okay. Any other questions that were asked in the interview? Uh, it was about regression, uh, recursion and loops, like how recursion work, what is time complexity and space complexity, and how which is better, like recursion or loop in both the cases, in time complexity and space complexity. Okay, okay. Any other questions uh, from your projects? Uh, how were questions framed from your projects? like how do you made this project can we can we improve this project by can we improve the efficiency of car price prediction model using another ai or something else this kind of questions were there okay okay anything else you want to mention here actually i forgot to ask you like uh, what was the actual duration of the interview it was around one hour so one hour okay. basically um, for me, it was more about DSA questions. For some students, it was more about SQL. Okay. Uh, so, like, uh, more, uh, some people were asked to write SQL queries. While right. I was asked to write DSA questions. All right, all right. Might be, like, this will be based on the resume, right? Uh, like, your resume was yes, more sir. inclined towards DSA. And uh, might be he started talking about DSA because I think it's the nature of interviewers. Uh, like uh, they usually start a topic and if the student is in the flow, so they keep on asking the questions based on the topic only, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. And how would you rate this one hour long interview? Like it was a difficult level or moderate level? It was easy to moderate level as it was for my strengths, mm -hmm. like DSA is my strength and web technology, web technology, XGS was my strength. So it is easy to moderate for me. Nice, 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 nice. Good to hear that. Like it was uh, easy because like, huh, it, if it is inclined towards your resume, if it is based on your strengths or your favorite topics, it is easy to talk upon that topic, right? But still, like uh, basic, uh, basics are most important. They pick, they were picking the basic questions, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Any any suggestion? Uh, like uh, at this point, uh, just your interview got over, right? So, any kind of suggestions you want to mention for your fellow mates, like how they could clear this uh, interview round? Because most of the students feel, uh, like like uh, they are not good at the communication skills, or they they do not feel much confidence to face the interview so how did you so, tackle that thing so the best thing is to write what do you know in your resume and to be more confident about that things you should clear your fundamentals so that if a question is asked from your students you can you are you should be able to answer that you should not be like i have written it in my resume but i don't know it completely that creates a bad impression in front of interviewer. I think mm -hmm. this is the most important thing. If you have written something in your resume or you know something, you should know it completely. Oh, nice, nice. Sure. Nice suggestion, nice. Uh, like, uh, we must be honest with the skills which we are mentioning on the resume, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay, great. So out of that uh, roughly like approx ratio, you told me like it was 130 students who sat for this interview, right? So how many yes, uh, number of students were uh, like after, like cleared the interview? Around 60 to 70. Okay. Like it was 50% uh, of that, right? Yes. Okay. So talking about the third round now. So what it was and uh, how much, uh, like, uh, after how much uh, difference it was taken? So I got the link uh, after one to two hours. So the second round was more of technical round. At this round also, I was first uh, told to introduce myself. Okay. Then about my projects. And then one of the most important question, why you want to be in the Polestar company um, okay. because I like the company like I like the field of data analytics and I am trying to learn more about data science so that was my reason and after that it was more of a 
SQL, like structured way language. So basically they, they ask me to write queries uh, and they also are ask me questions related to joins, inner join, left join, how join works. And also there was one to two puzzles. Like if they, if they said that there are two containers, five liter and three liter, and we have to make four liters somehow like four liters so and there were also questions on probabilities all yes, right sir. okay okay so it was a mixture of everything you can say like started from the introduction shifted to project shifted to dsa shifted to sql and puzzles right yes, yes. okay okay there were only two puzzles around two three two three okay and yes. uh, like for how much duration this interview went it was around 40 to 50 minutes also. Okay. Like Again, it was more on SQL. Okay. Okay. Last it time it focus was on, on the uh, SQL. The last time it was on DSA. Now it was on SQL. Hmm, nice. Okay. So how did you like... Um, Again, I would not ask you, like, how did you tackle the interview? Because I know, like, it was again from your field only, right? So yeah. how it uh, all went, like, it was, how would you rate the interview? Like, moderate, easy? Like, it was moderate. SQL was a little bit on the advanced side. They asked me advanced questions. The queries were not the simple, basic queries. But it was on the concepts like joys and in a query, out a query, for sub query format, uh, sub query questions. Okay. But the interview was, it, it, the interview was very good. Like he make me comfortable. Okay. Nice. So were you able to answer all the questions? I was not able to answer one puzzle. Rest I was able to. Okay. Which so puzzle? Uh, which puzzle? Do you remember that? So it was like uh, there were three gates and one can one can take out any number of fruits out of them. So we have to tell about how much how much how maximum percentage we can get out of it. And there were two simple rules that after every gate it would get 50% and we can get a one, a one out of that. Like if we have five then we can get to, uh, uh, first of all, we can't take odd number. If like if we have six, then we can get three out of one gate, and three plus one four. So basically, I was not able to guess that it it's answer is like hundred percent. Like if we take out two, and then it would get half one, and we get one. Like in a every gate we get 100 percent so this was the question which i which i was not able to tackle okay 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 so how many students were now like after those who cleared the third round as well uh it was uh, around 50 percent 50 to 65 percent around 38 39 okay 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 so okay so any uh, any further questions like anything you want to advise at this stage to the students so one should know about uh, the company he or she uh, she is sitting on that on which drive so particularly you know about the role you should know about the stack stat which is used on a not on particular levels but on a broader side like if we if they if the company is data analyst, so one should go with SQL and uh, um, Power BI. If it is a company of web technology, uh, web application, then one should know React Node, PHP, like that. Okay. Yes, huh? Uh, like which role you are applying for, you must be uh, confident with that, right? You must have that yes. knowledge. Yes. All right. All right. So moving further uh, to the fourth round, uh, which was hopefully the last round, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So what it was? It was HR interview round, like introduce yourself. Then are you comfortable with the relocation? And also uh, it was a 
there was a two year bond so whether you are a, whether you are good with that two year bond or not and about your family background uh, what are your interests hobbies where do you see yourself after five years so basic hr questions were there uh -huh. okay basic yes so it might be a short interview or it was also like a long interview it was a short interview around 15 to 20 minutes okay 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 and uh, any any like out of the box question asked in this hr round so there was a small puzzle like it uh, around that and why you are not able to get into this if there are more than five to ten companies has visited here why you are not able to get hired before if because you have a very good record academic record that okay. was a trick question so what what was your answer to this question so i frankly answered the uh, answer like i have given my hundred percent sometimes it's not one day like sometimes luck plays a goal and i have given more interviews like i have also given essential interview dx interview uh, so i told him about that okay yes, sir. okay so always less uh, like this is a condition if you are not getting plays we must not be demotivated right we must learn from that thing so the skills which you might have learned in those interviews which you failed like those helped in cracking this company right yes sir. Uh, always like this is uh, from uh, when we also meet students here at talent battle it is our first advice to all the students to uh, like keep themselves motivated and always uh, be in the continuous learning uh, form right you must learn from everything whichever you are facing in uh, today's life okay so ishan uh, like it was a very nice meet talking with you like we learned a lot from you today so about not only about polestar also about how a student uh, tackles everything <laughs> like uh, the yes, difficult sir. questions and how to manage time right it was nice talking to you so at last uh, any uh, other suggestions any other things which you want to mention you want to advise your fellow mates your juniors so you can tell us always stay motivated always be always see a positive side always remain optimistic uh, the situations come and go you will clear many interviews where some interviews you can fail but never get demotivated you always you should and you always stay motivated because it is the key like if you get demotivated it would be very difficult for you you are the only one who can do the best to yourself if you try if you get if you are motivated only then you can assess yourself and can bring more change change for good in yourself great yes. and uh, my last question to you ishan is like uh, did you receive any kind of feedbacks after the interview uh, from the interviewer itself like any feedback or any anything like interview like there are situations when interviewer ask you like uh, any questions you want to ask to the interviewer mm -hmm. So was there any uh, this much uh, situation? Uh, no, in my case, it was not there. Like, uh, yeah, in one interview, he asked me to uh, have what uh, what I think about the company. Uh, this is the only question I got. Like, uh, if I want to ask him something about the company, so I ask about work-life balance. Uh, so work-life balance is pretty cool in whole style. Good question. Yes. Uh, right okay so after like uh after at last like how many students actually cleared the drive and are placed right now with you so around 20 students got placed okay and all are from your stream only i they are from actually they are from i i am from csc they are from it ec there as well ec electronics also participated uh, yes good good like it is uh it is a very nice thing like uh yes all the opportunities that comes for itcse students they of course they were they are there for the 
like electronics branch yes. as well yes it is based on the student like if we also have like many students here preparing along with you uh, like a talent battle those who belong from electronics stream right yes sir okay so uh, once again ishan we congratulate you uh, from the whole team of talent battle i congratulate you on getting placed and we wish you a best of luck for starting your career at pole star and you achieve the heights of success right and uh, it is a very good start right. and please be motivated every time and whenever uh, you need any help anything uh, you want to share please uh, you can always connect us right and uh, thank you audience for uh, being uh, here with us uh, till the end of the video and we hope like you have also got a lot of uh, information from this video on how things happen how rounds are there so there were uh, there were four rounds which were very nicely discussed in this video so uh, keep yourself motivated keep always learning and talent battle is always there to help students for getting placed and if you are also placed you can also come up uh, with us to share your piece of information and uh, for becoming the spotlight at talent battle so thank you uh, thanks for the day and kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, press the bell icon for getting all the latest updates thanks a lot thank you ishan once again thank you uh, thank you so much sir it was